nice sunny day here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And uh, here is our base coated wall. Even for having just done the base coat on this particular wall, it's already creating a dramatic transformation. The second coat is very much like the first coat, with the exception that I'm going to be doing large puzzle pieces uh, and taking off most of the material back off the wall. I am going to put all of the material on the wall from my hawk. It's the combination of the two coats working together, the base coat and the second coat, which create the dimension of color. And I'll just go back and make sure on this coat I have no, no texture. I don't want any, I want to pretty much take all of the material back off the wall and leave it flat. And I will add another scoop to it. Each time I do a puzzle piece, uh, my mud will get hard, so I can reactivate it with fresh mud. So each puzzle piece I get a, a fresh... Uh, so I'm doing my second coat properly, I should end up with a design that's looking kind of crazy and somewhat abstract. You can see as the mud is drying and where it's wet, you get a sense of uh, where the puzzle pieces are. This is four puzzle pieces. As we begin to finish our wall, it starts to take on a very uh, map-like uh, appearance. And again, my brake line is completely abstract, leaving a nice uh, finishing point here for me. Making this surface look as, uh, as nice as possible. And, at the same time, Fresco Harmony is a system that is, it's more efficient than other systems. You will not find an easier spreadable medium that is as cost effective as Fresco Harmony. I'm not burning it off really hard. All I'm doing is leaving the surface smooth. You can see this wall is drying much quicker than uh, the base coat. When I have a small section, I like to use these plastic knives. They're really inexpensive. Um, I can buy them almost anywhere and they're easy to cut down if I need to get into a tight area.